Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for Episode 4. Also, we got some massive crisis news to talk about that is exclusive to this channel, but it's coming from a source. The source will be linked in the description below. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the Supergirl stuff because that is the main part of this video. Obviously, the other stuff is really big news, but we'll get around to that. So, the first shot of the trailer, and I have to say, this trailer isn't very good. Like, I don't think it's very well cut together. That's not to say the episode's not going to be good because I'm still really excited for the episode. I just don't think the trailer was very well done. I thought the music was a bit weird. But that's just me. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is Jean, and Jean is there. I'm not sure, it looks kind of like Catco. Anyway, so he's talking, and he says, My brother now has the power to put thoughts in your head, so he's talking to someone. And then we cut to a new shot. This shot is of Supergirl, she's on the street. Looks like some sort of confrontation, definitely seems like a new shot. We've got this panning shot, where... John's obviously talking over, he talks about, you know, putting thoughts in your head, how his brother can do that. The panning shot is meant to mean, oh, these people could be Malavaic. He could be putting ideas into people's head and just watching you, essentially. So, you know, it's a case of fear. And so, moving on to the next shot, we've got a shot of Kara, and Kara is, in fact, on the phone. Brainy's there. I, I really like the shot, it's framed very nicely with her in the left, Brainy in the right. So she's talking to someone, she says, who is this guy? And in the trailer, it's got to be, it's supposed to be Malefaic. Maybe it is Malefaic calling from like a different person's perspective. Like maybe he's got into someone's mind. Maybe that's to do with, you know, his new powers. However, it's meant to look like that in the trailer, but I don't think it is. I think it's supposed to be someone else. It could be to do with her reporting. You know, it could be to do with anything like this. And so... Yeah, let's move on to the next shot, and the next shot is of Malefaic, and I think this could be a repeat shot from one of the past episodes, but, you know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, and John says, I did this, and so, then we move on past this Malefaic shot to the next one, and it's of John, and he's talking to Supergirl, and that's when he does say, I did this, and then, now this is the point of intrigue in this trailer, We've got this new villain, I don't know who she is, you guys, if you have heard about it, maybe I've just forgotten who it is, but let me know if you know her name in the comments down below, but her powers don't seem to be anything, you know, straight out of the comic book, so nothing really pops out to me as to who she is, but anyway, so she's here, she says, don't take this personally, and then she uses her powers, and you see some repeat shots, like a reaction shot of Kara, she uses her powers, sort of like airbending out of her hand, right? And then, this is the bit in the trailer where I was like, ha. So basically, Kara stands there for a second while she's being hit, and then she suddenly pings out of the window. I'm talking like a freaking ragdoll. It makes no sense in the, in the way that physics works, because she's being hit out there. She's not going to go flying up. That's obviously a CGI thing. But they did that recently with Jean flying up in the air, and it was it's just really weird. And also the ADR, the voiceover, with Kara screaming, it's so out of time. I felt like they need to cut this, like, just a bit before, so it's just after she pings away. But yeah, that's just a nitpick from the trailer, because I thought it looked really weird, and how she sort of holds on tight for a bit, and then totally ragdolls out of the window, like, up into the air. Which is strange because really she should hit that wall, you know, right in front of her. So I found that very strange. And then we have James and Kelly. They're in the car. They are trying to escape. I'm not sure how much we're going to see of them. I thought we wouldn't see them this episode. So I was kind of surprised when we saw this. But anyway, so we move on. We got this shot. It's of an FBI agent. Obviously, this is supposed to be in reference to Malefaic getting into people's heads got Kara she's by these barriers and she swooshes she runs and you know goes across the screen and in this next shot you can tell it's Supergirl not Melissa you can tell it's the stunt double so she goes flying in she saves Brainy and Alex and 
so she's flying across. It looks pretty cool, but you can definitely tell it's not Melissa right there. And then the final shot of the trailer is of Alex, and we cut to Jean as Alex says, you put us in jeopardy, so this is to one another. And it seems to be like the same lighting. So that's really, really intriguing as to what's going on. Obviously, Alex is seemingly blaming Jean for some of the stuff that has happened. Obviously, it is his fault, so... Yeah, it's kind of fair. Alright, so let's move on past this Supergirl trailer to talk about this crisis stuff. So we've got massive news, this is exclusive as of right now. And so this comes from Voline 70 So I've been talking to them and they were able to give me some information about crisis. And so they are a reliable, you know, pretty much most of the time they get a lot of stuff right. Mainly they focus on Titans and the DC streaming platform so basically how they stumbled upon this was they were digging in to find out more about Titans in the crossover we'll talk about that in a bit but what seemingly they stumbled upon was something very big there's a few different things we're going to talk about it so obviously it's leaks so obviously you know they could edit it out maybe it actually never happened so take it with a massive grain of salt because it is leaks but anyway so he confirmed that Green Lantern is going to be appearing in the crossover. It will 100% happen, I quote. And so Diggle as Green Lantern is going to happen. That's what he has heard, and that's what we are going along with. So if this is true, this is crazy. Obviously, we've been setting up this for a very long time, especially last crossover with the reference with Barry Allen from, you know, the 90s TV show. And so that was referenced in Elseworlds last year. So this supposedly happening is massive. This would introduce the idea of the Green Lanterns into the crossover, into the Arrowverse as a whole, which is super exciting because everyone wants that. And there's been a rumor from actually the same source from Voline on reddit that potentially dc is eyeing to do a green lantern show so that's very interesting and i would so down for this like i've been waiting for green lantern to show up for the longest time and i think it's perfect if you even have a, just a cameo as Diggle's green lantern people are going to freak out and it confirms that yeah the green lanterns do exist okay so the other thing is and i quote i heard batman beyond will somehow show up but i'm not sure so this obviously has a lot to do with Kevin Conroy actually showing up in the crossover because Kevin Conroy played an older version of Bruce Wayne. We know he's playing Bruce Wayne in the crossover, whatever version of himself he's playing, right? And he was that older version of Batman and Bruce Wayne in Batman Beyond the animated show. So if they're bringing him in and there is rumors or leaks of them actually you know, introducing Batman Beyond into this. Could it be him? Could he actually be playing Batman just for, you know, a few small scenes? Is it not just Bruce Wayne? I think there is a high possibility that they do that. Or with, you know, the characters from the future storyline in Arrow coming back in the past, like Mia Smoke, she's definitely going to be in a lot of the crossover as the sort of new green Arrow. Could she bring along a version of Batman Beyond? So that's interesting, and I think that's something to ponder upon, so think about that. Okay, so also what I do know is, and I'm quoting right here, the Superman show will spin off from Crisis, not the Supergirl show. So that's very intriguing, because I talked about this in yesterday's video, how I said that they wouldn't, you know, introduce a Superman show, and I still don't think they're going to introduce a Superman show while Supergirl's still on. That's just me personally speaking. But apparently the idea is to set up the Superman show off of Crisis. Obviously you've got all these different versions of Superman showing up. You've got Smallville Superman. You've got Kingdom Come Superman played by Brandon Ralph. You've got normal Superman from Supergirl. So I think there is a possibility this could be true. That yeah, maybe the pilot, the backdoor pilot is actually in Crisis rather than a Supergirl episode or something like that. Okay, so let's quickly move on before we end this video to talk about Titans. So, we've got some more details apparently as to what would have happened or what will happen in the Titans scene. Apparently Supergirl would fly and you would see all these Earths below her. And in one of them the Titans cast would look up and see her 
and apparently, according to Voline, the source, this eventually got cancelled because of a few reasons. Firstly, they would be very, very underpaid for the crossover. Second of all, some of the cast didn't want to be associated with Crisis and the CW. And yeah, so that is apparently what happened. Obviously, we don't know if that's 100% true, but that's what he's been told. So, you know, take it as you will. You know, it's very intriguing, nevertheless. So that's about it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.